Hello and welcome, it's Bill Skolodowski and it's time for iPhone Friday. Today, how to put an end once and for all to those just crazy notifications from stuff you don't care about. Uh, hi again, it's Bill Skolodowski from the blog of the same name, BillSkolodowski.com, where we provide tips, tricks, and resources to make your high-tech life easier. And every Friday, just like today, iPhone Friday with, well, some interesting and helpful tips that will make your iPhone use all that much easier. I help out uh, regular users, small businesses, home-based business users, and others uh, to make sure they're getting the most out of their high-tech gadgets, especially their iPhone. So we were talking about uh, how to use the iPhone to get rid of a lot of those notifications. If you haven't already noticed, uh, just about every different app that you have on your phone, if you, uh, when you go to install it, is going to ask you to allow notifications. Now, on some things, that's a good thing. If I miss a phone call, if I miss an important text message, I want to know about that, and I want to be notified that, hey, Bill, you missed a text message. Okay, cool. But so many other apps automatically turn on notifications when you install them, or they have a little bit of fine print that it's like, is it okay if we notify you of stuff, and you just click yes, like most people do, and you end up having a whole bunch of different notifications popping up on your phone all the time. How do we get rid of those? So glad you asked. Let's move over to the phone, and uh, let's get rid of this little puppy here. There we go, so we can see the phone and see what's going on. Now, on your phone, a little bit, uh, we're gonna dig into a little bit of the um, settings today. Don't, don't be afraid, it's okay, settings, it's, it's simple stuff, trust me on this. <laughs> so on your phone, you know, log yourself in and uh, head over to the settings icon, which is the uh, big silver gear, of course, right? And uh, on mine, I have it right on the screen. If you can't find yours, remember our trick from the last iPhone Friday message, which would simply be to pull down on the phone and then type in settings, S-E-T-T, -T, and as soon as you see the gear, down there, the silver gear, just tap on it, and you go into settings, just like that. Works really easy. Now, you should be on the screen that shows your smiling face at the very top, and it should say settings at the very top. Now, if you don't see that, you may be into some of the you know settings farther down into the page. In other words, you may have dug in through several different menus to find it. So for example, if I hit general and I hit you know about or whatever, it's gonna show me all the details on the phone and it's like, all right, how do I get back to where I'm going, back to the main settings screen? Well, you can't just close settings and reopen it and think you'll be back to the beginning because the iPhone, for better or for worse, always takes you back to the screen you were on when you reopen the app. So it doesn't matter what app you're in, whether it's settings or contacts or email or whatever, if you were reading a specific email and you closed email and you reopened it, guess what? You'd be right back on that one email that you left off on. Same thing with settings. If I'm in settings and about my phone, which is what you see on the screen here, if I close settings and I reopen it, it comes right back to that page. So to get back to the main screen of settings, see up at the very top there where it shows the little uh, general, the word general, and then there's a blue back arrow. It kind of points, actually on my screen, it'll be pointing that way back, right? So I just tap on that because that shows the page that came before this one. So watch this. Look, it says up in the corner there, see how it says, oh, see up here in the corner it says general, and then there's a back arrow. So if I tap on that, now I'm back on the general screen. You can see that because it says general in the center of the screen in black and white. Now up in the upper left corner it says settings with another back arrow. So I tap on that one, and I'm back to where it says settings. You can see that in black and white on the top, and if I scroll up, there I am. Okay, cool. So now that we're back in settings, at least we can go to work here. So scroll down just a little bit. In fact, it's the top of the second section right there where you see where it says notifications with the little red box next to it. Tap on that. And now here's all the notifications for all the apps installed on your 
phone. If you're going to be like me, there's going to probably be a hundred of them, maybe more, I don't know. But I have a lot, a bunch, okay? So here's the way to read this thing. Let's just start with the very top one where it says airmail, which is an, an email program that I've installed, okay? If it says off, congratulations, that program is not going to bug you with notifications. You're just not. It's turned off, okay? Now, underneath that, I go down past the App Store and I go down to Assistant, which is the Google Assistant. More on that later. Uh, but you can see with that it says banners, sounds, and badges are turned on, okay? So that means if the Google Assistant has something to notify me about, it can use a banner, a sound, and a badge to do so. So let's tap on that. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. So first and foremost, if you arrive at an app that you want to turn off the notifications, like for example, I look at this and I go, Google Assistant, I, I, don't, I never use that. I don't care to have any notifications from that. Well, all you have to do is turn off that green button at the very top that says allow notifications. And if I turn it off just by tapping on it and sliding it over ever so slightly, everything goes away. And now it's turned off and now it won't bother me anymore. <laughs> awesome. And I can just go through every app on the phone. By the way, the easy way to do that is just scroll down and see the ones that are already turned on. Like for example, I look at, I've got this app Calendar 5. It's already off. CNN, already off. Edge, already off. ESPN, already off. I don't have to do anything with those. They're turned off, right? But if I find one that's on, I've got Evernote, which is showing some app, you know, banners, sounds, and badges. I can click on that. I can tap on the off button and it'll be off. Okay. Now, if I do want something on, okay, there are going to be some things that I want to be turned on, like, you know, phone messages and text messages and stuff like that. Well, how do I do that and how do I manage that? Well, let's go... Let's go into Messages. Let's go down and find that one. If I scroll down to Messages, it's the green speech bubble there. It's the same app icon as on your main screen, right? If I tap on that one, I can see that it's already turned on. What do some of these things mean? Well, the first one is Alerts, which is what's it going to show me on the screen of the iPhone when the message or when the notification happens? Now, it just so happens I have all three of these turned on, which is the lock screen, the notification center and banners, which means, as you can see on the screen, it shows a little small bit of a, a graphic, an image that pops up and shows me when something arrives. I can choose to show it on the lock screen or not just by tapping the blue check mark down there underneath the item. Do I want it on the notification center? Yes or no. Do I want a banner? Yes or no. Okay. Now, that's cool. I usually have all three of them on. That's fine. That's up to you. The other thing right underneath it is banner style. See that piece of text there? So do I want it to be permanent, which is persistent, or temporary? Persistent means exactly what it says. It's going to just stay in your face until you do something about it. Respond to it, turn it off, swipe it to close it, whatever. Or temporary, which means it's going to pop up for a few seconds on your screen, and then it's going to go away. So you can choose whatever you like there. Also, sounds. Do I want it to make a sound when it arrives? You know, do I want it to make, let's see, do I have a sound here? Oh, I think I have them all turned off. Let's, let's turn it up some here. Hang on. Although it might not, you might not be able to hear it through this, uh, uh, this uh, recording of mine here. No, I don't hear anything. So you get to choose any sound you want. You know, you can just play with that to your heart's content. And then the uh, last thing that I'm going to talk about is badges. As in, we don't need no stinking badges. No, that's old movie stuff there. Sorry about that. Old, old Western movie. But badges are when you're on the phone and you missed a call or you missed a text message or something. Look, up in the corner there, it shows with my text messages up in the upper right portion of the screen there, there's a little number, red number one. Okay. Same with the phone, by the way, down at the bottom on my, uh, on my phone icon, there's a little red number one. Both of those are badges, and they're telling me that I've either missed a text message or I've missed a phone call or something like that. I also, on the Evernote app, which you see right, right in the center, or right in the center of the screen over here, I have three missing notifications as well. Now I may have that set to remind me of something, you know, make pick up milk and bread at the grocery store, whatever. So anyway, those are badges, and those show me that I have missed some notifications, and I can turn those on and off if I choose. 
so that either the app will show them or won't show them. I'll still get them. I'll still have the notifications waiting, but I'll have badges there to actually show me that I have missed something, okay? So there's more details about this, and we'll dig into this in future videos, but I just wanted to bring you up to speed, especially on the whole idea of being able to turn off notifications completely if there's an app that's just bugging you all the time, and it's like, I don't even use that app, or I don't care if I missed a notification about a podcast, for example, or, you know, from Quora or something like that. You can turn them off anytime you want. Okay, that's going to do it for today. If you would like to uh, get some more information about uh, how to use your phone to make tech easy for you, let me invite you over to the blog for a free downloadable cheat sheet of Siri tips and tricks. Things that will make your phone life easier by helping you to use Siri all the much better. Stop down, the uh, address is right there beneath, uh, billsklodowski.com slash Siri, and you can get yours for free as well. All right, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. If you have specific questions about using your high-tech gadgets and gizmos, especially your iPhone, uh, go ahead and drop a comment below this video, wherever you might see it, YouTube, Facebook, on the blog, does not matter. And for more information about either iPhone Friday or What's New Wednesday, just stop by the blog BillSklodowski.com where you can always see the latest video if you can't find it elsewhere on your social media posts. Thanks for joining. I'm Bill Sklodowski with tips, tricks, and resources to make your high-tech life easier. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks for joining me.